the National Health Workers Union of Liberia press statement for immediate release 26 September 2020. Fellow healthcare workers, members of the Pope Estate, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, Nauru would like to extend her appreciation to all stakeholders who have engaged the union leadership over the past few days in order to find an amicable solution to the state home action which began 16 September 2020. Today we call you here in an additional effort to have the general public informed as to where we stand nearly after 11 days of the action. Predicated upon our petition of the U.S. Embassy, the European Union Mission, and the United Nations Resident Coordinator, considering the level of negotiation reached thus far with other key stakeholders, the leadership and members of the National Health Workers Union of Liberia want to inform the general public that we have resolved to reassure the general public of our willingness, as always, to provide you the best of services. However, the union wants to make it emphatically clear that from past experience and Pardon me. The union wants to make it emphatically clear that from past experience and in line with international best practice, after every strike action, there must be a memorandum of understanding that spells out terms and conditions under which the action has been called off, a plan of action for the timely resolution of outstanding issues and the protection of all striking workers. Henceforth, we call on the government of Liberia to act on the following points timely for the earlier mitigation of stay home action. Number one, to immediately start the disbursement of the two million US dollars into the account of healthcare workers in both the public and the private sector across the country. Two, provide a clear roadmap on the certificate process as discussed in previous meetings. Three, that there be a comprehensive memorandum of understanding signed between the government of Liberia and the National Health Workers Union of Liberia for resumption of work across the country. Nauru is grateful to all partners for their commitment to provide drugs and medical supplies to public health facilities across the country. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. Yes, from my end, I'm Neville Gardner Ramon, I work for News Public Trust. I would like to get a clear understanding for you. You are saying that you are given a. Is there any ultimatum given to the government to send in your money into your bureau account? Is there any ultimatum given to them? Uh, the statement uh, speaks for itself. We say that given the level of negotiation, Given all of the people who have been involved with the stakeholders, we are telling the government that since we have heard all of this, let them make that $2 million that they have been talking about from day two of our action to put in the accounts of the healthcare workers. That's number one. Number two, there must be a clear roadmap. We have talked about the certification. But I'm asking whether is there any specific time given to them that wish were based on that year of return to work, whether there's a specific time, 72 hours or one day or what? No, if we give a time, it means that we're telling them that we are resuming now. These are conditions that when they, when they should have met, that will give a room for the resumption, like we said. It, it is that you are on the road of um, compromising um, your action, um, given the fact that you announced that the government can, you know, remit the two million into the account, will you come back to work when that is done? We said it clearly. We said that we are ready to resume service to the public 
But these conditions, they have said, we, remember we have eight counts. And all along you have heard that they have $2 million and we were being unreasonable, uncompromising. Given the situation that stakeholders have spoken to us, we have met foreign missions. All of those things tap up to the where we are right now. We also want to let the public to know because they are telling people that the leadership is the one that is holding the, the country hostage. We are saying that is not the way. All of the all of the count that we have given, we have given at least a minimum that they are, they can settle. We talk about 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 salary increment. They have not done anything about it. We talk about uh, provision for our for our members, uh, reclassification. All of these things we have been talking about over and over again. But given the situation that other people have spoken to us, when you negotiate, it is a give and take. I think we have given it a minimum that they should, they should, it is upon them now to act on it for us to, to, to move forward. So all, what all, are they in touch, yes. meaning that you will return to work, what are them? No, 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 no. These three things mm -hmm. that we have stated, they are intertwined. You cannot put the two million today, you expect us to go to work. Because what, what is going to happen is this. They have already started wish hunting. Why they were making peace? They were sending people to our, to our places of work. They were also threatening to sack our people. In fact, you read from Minister uh, Eugene Nangwe that we are considered dismissed, even though they are still coming to us and talking with us. There must be a blueprint that in the memorandum of understanding that will spell out that there will be no wish hunting, that our people, yes, of course, we know what they have said. How after two months they have planned to transfer our people from point A to point Z. So, but these are things that it must be spelled out. Not because you made two million. In the first place, the value of the two million that we talk about is the twelve dollars and fifty cents. But given the situation that we are serving the humanity, we are serving the Liberian people. We have seen that the way to go forward is to give them the minimum that they say they have, so that they, they can they can they can act upon it. So on on uh, let me come one minute. Um, on your petition uh, to the government, um, the government has uh, vehemently refused to certificate you. Now you are coming back and saying uh, in this form of compromising so that you can return to work or whatever, you are still raising the issue of certificate. Don't you think uh, it will rest on deaf ear? No, but the issue here is that uh, we don't want to uh, open a Pandora box. They have told us a lot of things concerning certification. Uh, that is why we left in a, in, a, in a nutshell to say that there should be a clear roadmap. Yes, we have been talking. And even though we heard yesterday, they say, can't do it. But we have heard other things that, that uh, 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 steps that will mitigate. And those steps must be revealed on the day that uh, they, they, we all I, I, we, will be meeting. So the government should draw a, um, a plan on how you should govern yourself if you should be certificated by the, not by the government. The government should determine how we govern ourselves. They have said initially that they will not give us the certificate. What we are reading from them is that they have, they have done some homework and the processes that will lead to the certification, those are things that they are saying, I wouldn't want to say in this mid, I mean, along this medium, but at the day we are meeting, these three conditions all must be outlined so that we know where we are going. So, um, Mr. Disha, thank you. I'm Bill Cooper for Inquiry Newspaper. So, in short, you listed three demands that the government need to address. So, you can simply tell the Labyrinth people if these demands are met within the shelter possible time, you guys will return to work. Is that why you join the Labyrinth people? Yes. Now? So, in case the demands are not met by the government, in case the government tries to address two and the certifications of now, because there is a sticky issues, will you not still go back to work or what well, they should be addressed first? You got to give at least something clear to the Labyrinth so they can understand what they're operating The thing about it is that uh, in the MOU okay. that we are also pressing for, it is where this provision will be made. Okay. Yes, because we're not going to leave it. In our MOU, like I, I, we've been saying, if, if common paper will not happen today, they will not go in the store to sign the paper. We can sit and in the memorandum of understanding, these things will be explained how it will be achievable, timeline all will be attached to it. 
So but you saw like, another member right now understanding last year. Yes. And you still talking about another member right now understanding. Do you think that this one will will be given credence by the government? I tell you, uh, we have spoken and we have spoken to key stakeholders. And everybody have given their listening ears. And we believe that those steps steps are in place that will make the certificate to be granted. Given the fact that uh, all of your, 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 your demands are three, and you don't want any one of them to be uh, left out, sure, right? In your, in your demands, you don't want any one of them to be left out. As part of this demand, each, if one will be left out, that like my brother said, if one will be left out, what will be the one that will be king that will make you to return to war? No, I don't think that if you negotiate, we can negotiate from eight points and we just give two. The third one that I'm talking about memorandum are the things that will be in trying to, to, to catalog other outstanding issues. So it is in that memorandum that all other issues that they say they are not able to settle now, that we all you know will work on it in that memorandum. It does not mean that uh, what we said in the past we are we are completely throwing them out. It's because of the negotiation, the interaction that has happened between us. It is where we are going because we have been talking. Yeah, Mr. Dijon, let me come in one minute. You kept talking about memorandum. Is there any new memorandum being signed by you and the government, or are there plans to be the government dialogue and sign a new memorandum of that? Those issues that we raise, those issues are still on the on the book. For instance, we talk about salary increment. Salary increment, they say they cannot do it now because it has a budgetary uh, implication. They cannot reclassify now. All of these things we have been discussing the behind the scenes. And so what we will sign will reinforce what we have agreed upon earlier. So that is that is the point we are going. Okay. So it doesn't mean that today you put a uh, hundred and twenty five dollars in somebody's account, then you say, so be it. No, there must be steps. Okay. Like negotiation is a give and take. Why they will not be able to deliver on the other one, there should be a room okay. where we'll arrive and say, Yes, you said this thing was happening at this point in time. This is it. That's how we are going. Okay. Okay. So Mr. Dijon, thank, thank you, you so very much. much. You're welcome.